everybody, I'm In The Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome to In The Little Box episode 15, <laughs> something like that. There's lots of fingers and there's lots of numbers in the alphabet, eh? see? Uh, but yeah, anyway, welcome. This is the show that I do on my channel every week. Apologies this wasn't up yesterday, like I normally say on Saturdays, but we had the Chivalry TGS Duelathon, and I got through to the semi-finals. If you haven't seen that yet, go check out yesterday's video. I basically chopped out all of the funny bits, uh, sorry, kept in all of the funny bits, and kept in all of the fighting bits, so it's just like this 17 minutes of awesome, and I'm genuinely very, very proud of that video. Uh, it took an entire day, like, from, like, 10 a.m., to about 10pm, so it took about 12 hours to like, you know, with breaks as well, to edit it all together, so I'm very proud of that video. If you can at least just go to the video, give it a like, I would massively appreciate that. But on to the mail! Now, you can probably see over here, if you can see this shelf, that is the PO Box shelf. Before, I've had it all scattered around my office, but now I've had to put it all in one place. And you can see that shelf is pretty much maxed out, so uh, I'm getting a little bit worried. I think I need to start opening some off video as well, which I know people aren't going to be happy with, but it's going to have to be done because I don't have the space in my office for it, so <clears throat> let me open the first bit of mail for today. Now this one actually caught my eye, um, it was brilliant. So there's a little piggy on the front of it as well, and there's a really cool drawing on the back of it, which I thought was just like amazing. Even though there's no colour in it, it's just a simple like, you know, single colour pen. And I thought it was brilliant, and of course the, sa the sapling seal of approval on the front of it as well, just up there. Remember, if you do send anything to this show, the link is in the description, uh, or the address even is in the description. If you ever want to send anything, make sure you pop a sapling logo on it, or at least put Martin or In The Little Wood on it. So when it gets to the office, Minty knows who in the office it's supposed to be for. And Obviously you do the same for anybody else in the Oxcast. If you've got a letter for Duncan, put his name on the front of it, etc. It'd be cool. Uh, and it doesn't look like there's a letter with this one. Oh, I see the letters on the back. This person's like, whoa. Oh yeah, <clears throat> this is going on the Minecraft shelf. <coughs> Sorry, I think I'm coming down with something this week. Um, but look at that. How insanely cool is that? Like the detail on it as well. If I put it really, really close to the camera, you can just see how detailed it is with the shading and all that sort of stuff. That is really, really cool. It's from somebody called Diapason, apparently, and they've done <laughs> they've done a very um, cool drawing on the back, actually. That one at the bottom there. If anybody's seen KSI DJBT, I think that's how you pronounce his name, um, <laughs> he actually has the rap battles that he does, and the character looks very similar to that style of art, which is really cool. And there's a big old me in the middle as well, and the text is around it, so hopefully it's just going to be left to right. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to read it all properly. Uh, it says, Dear Martin, as you might have guessed, I'm one of your fans. Uh, my username is Diapason, uh, that's D-I-A-P-A-S-O-N, on YouTube and Twitter. Um, <clears throat> oh my god, <clears throat> let me take a drink, two seconds, sorry. <clears throat> Okay, we're good. Um, I'm Debson on YouTube and Twitter. I'm a drawer, and first I was doing my videos in French because, uh, by the way, I'm French. Oh, cool. Bonjour. Um, and we're looking. Uh, and your videos were the first videos I was looking at in English. And the first time I saw them, I was only looking at your vids. Oh, thank you very much. I'm the only English speaking person that you dedicate time to. That's kind of a big deal, really, for me. Um, uh, do, 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 do. We were looking. Um, greetings from France and keep up the good work. P.S. The drawing was done with watercolour. Ah, okay. I thought it was because it was definitely like a nice little blend to it all. It was really, really cool. That, that should be the thumbnail of the video, shouldn't it? Today, if I put that in the background like that, that'd be really awesome. Uh, where's the rest of the letter? Uh, P.P.S. Sorry for my grammar. If you don't understand everything, it's normal. No, your grammar was spot on. Um, and then you've actually got the character down there as well, which is cool. And you've actually put a tiny little version of you. Uh, your YouTube channel is Diapason38 Minecraft. I'm not sure. If anybody else can read that. It's very, very tiny at the top there. But there you go. <gasps> I'm all blurred out in the background. That's cool. Okay, cool. So there we go. Thank you very much, Diapason. I absolutely love that. That's what I liked as well. The reason I picked that up is just because of the decoration on the envelope itself. I thought it was incredible. Uh, now, I've got a few letters this week. And I've also got a few packages. So I think I'm going to open up <clears throat> one of the first few packages this week. Let me do this. What do we got? Oh, there is a letter and there are some sweets. What the hell are those? Oh my god, what? Something called Jaffas. They're from Nestle as well. What? Apparently, what are these? Chocolate orange and a crisp shell. Oh, okay. So it's sort of like M&M's, but... But Jaffa cakey. <laughs> That's amazing. I'll have to show Simon those. He's not in actually. I think he'll be in in a little while, so I'll show them to him when he comes in. Let's find out who these Jaffas are from. 
da, da, da. I'm hoping I don't rip the letter as I open it. Uh, yeah, 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 got it. Only a slight tear, only from my name though, it's alright. Uh, it says, Dear Martin, I'll hold this up whilst I read it. Oh, actually, it's really tiny, so you won't be able to see it. Um, there you go, can you see the little character on the thingy? Yeah, you can, there you go. Uh, it says, Dear Martin, I'm a huge fan of the Yogg's cast and I want to help uh, I'll make a parody uh, of Area 11's Dota 2 key, uh, key song. Oh, okay, I know which one you mean. Um, it's for a girl I love, is it? About Yeah, about a girl I love called Christina... Maderis, okay. Uh, we're friends, but I really like her. She said it's okay if I make it, and I have the lyrics set up. Just email me at blah 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 blah. Oh, so you actually want to... <laughs> That's really cool. I'm going to show you Sparkles that his heart is going to melt. So you want to do a parody of Sparkles' as song, and you want to do it as a love song to the girl that you like. And brave move as well, by the way, uh, for telling her that you want to make the song. And she was like, yeah, it's cool. Serenade me. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, that's from Hamish Perto, P-I-I-R-T-O. Thank you very much, Hamish. Uh, you didn't mention anything about the Jaffers, but they are here. They are safe, so thank you very much for those. That's awesome. And as I look over here, actually, um, I've got this thing is sat on my desk. And I needed to make a mention of this because I received this from Amazon the other day. Even though this wasn't on my wish list, I've never even heard of this. It's the Mysterious Cities of Gold, season one, or the entire series, should I say. And I haven't watched it yet. Me and Sparkles are going to watch it together because neither of us have ever heard of that. Uh, but the note that came with it said, uh, Hello in the Little Wood, also known as Martin. We met at Minecon. Thanks for introducing me to Sword Art Online. In return, let me introduce you to the anime that got me into anime. I hope you like it. Cheers, Resender. And I know Resender. He's been in our community actually for a very long time. From the very, very early days of the In the Little Wood and the Saplings and stuff. Uh, he's been around. So thank you very much, Resender. Uh, his Twitter name, if you want to go and follow him, is at Resender 2B. Send him a quick tweet, tell him thank you for the DVD collection. And uh, Resender, once we've watched it, I will tweet to you and let you know what I think. Basically, I, I keep this inside of that, so I'll never forget. Uh, so that'll be cool. Right, let's do another letter. Um, I picked this one up, mainly because it had a WWE logo on it. And I think I might have spoken about this before, but I was a big wrestling fan as a kid. Up until the age of about 14, I guess, maybe 15, um, I used to watch wrestling religiously, like... I used to watch every Monday Night Raw, I used to watch every Smackdown, I used to watch Heat sometimes, even though Heat wasn't particularly great. Uh, and then I'd watch every single pay-per-view as well. We used to go around to a friend's house and we used to sit down and watch them all, so yeah, that's the thing. Uh, before you ask, my favourite wrestlers were probably uh, Jeff Hardy, just because he was a bit nutty. Uh, who else? Triple H was a pretty consistent badass, wasn't he? So yeah, those two I actually really liked. And I was always a big sucker uh, for Scotty Too Hotty, just because he was blonde and he danced a lot. And I was like, hey, that's kind of like me. And like he used to do the worm and stuff with Rikishi. And my first pay-per-view ever, actually, was... Um, <laughs> my first pay-per-view ever was Royal Rumble 2000. And that was when Rikishi, Grandmaster Sexay, best wrestling name ever, by the way, and Scotty Too Hotty all did the dance and then he eliminates both of them. Spoilers, it's been 10 years, 12 years, so if you've not seen it, it's your own fault, but go watch Royal Rumble 2000, I think it's on YouTube in like one full thing, like just the match alone, it's brilliant, it's really, really good. Um, anyway, sorry, I went on a wrestling tangent there, um, it says, hi Martin, my name is Camille, that's a cool name, uh, I live in the UK, my very first video I watched of yours was the Yogg Box, I really enjoyed, uh, I really enjoyed that you hope, oh, I really enjoyed it and I hope that you make more of those videos of it, uh, I'm 11 years old and I... Seen you like WWE, I love, I love it, what? I love it, this CD has several PS3 demos on it. Oh, okay, so that's what's inside of here. <laughs> I keep getting lots of these, like, things sent through. Oh, this has got SSX on, I actually haven't tried that, and I really wanted to. I might do that today, I'm going to be playing Nino Cooney in a little while, I've got it paused. Actually, that's a YouTube video, but I'm going to be playing Nino Cooney today, recording some episodes for hopefully tomorrow. I'm not going to make any promises though. Uh, but yeah, the series is carrying on as it is. Um, so thank you very much for that, Camille. That's awesome. Um, ba -ba -ba -bam. Uh, I hope you enjoy that, and I'm a big fan. My YouTube channel is Camille Full Full Fullock F U L A C. That looks like. Uh, please check it out. You Simon and Lewis inspired me to start YouTube. My email address is shh, not telling you all. Um, I love your cots videos and your Jet Set Radio. Why? Thank you. I like when people say they like Jet Set Radio. It's one of the more like obscure series on my channel. The ones that you either love or hate. It's like Marmite. 
um, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh, I would love it if you made a Let's Play on Grand Theft Auto. Toby's been trying to get me to play GTA for ages. He plays a lot of GTA, I think it's 4, and like it's got like lots of mods and stuff on it. So I might have to do something on that soon because I have had I have had fun just watching him play it. So actually playing it myself, <clears throat> I think would actually be really really cool. Um, please add me on the PS3 network. My name is. Shh, I'm not going to tell you all either. Uh, once again, hope you enjoy the games. Bye on the letter as well. That is awesome. Thank you very much, Camille, for the demo CD. I'm going to put that on the gaming shelf. There you go. Actually, if I leave it sticking out so you can see where it is. This. Let me stop my phone from falling. This is the gaming shelf. Ah. So I'll put the CD just there. It is on the gaming shelf. Oh, back you come. There we go, my central, sort of, maybe. I look pretty for you today, by the way. I dressed up. I like to make an effort for you all on the PO box. Uh, let me open up my stopwatch and pop it there again for you. There we go. Uh, so that was a letter. So let us now open a package. Uh, there is no address on this, so I'm hoping that I don't break whatever's inside. Let's have a look. This looks like it came from the UK as well, considering it's Royal Mail. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> a bottle was sent out to sea. I actually read a really funny article um, in the paper the other day that a kid sent out a bottle with a message in and said, Hey, here's my address. Message me back if anybody ever finds this. And it went all the way from the UK all the way to Australia. And a guy found it in Perth on the beach. And then he actually sent the postcard back to the kid as well as a letter as well and like his email address so they could talk. It was a genius idea. I've always kind of wanted to do that. It'd be quite funny to see like where it ends up. Oh God, this isn't the easiest thing in the world to get out. Uh, oh God. No, I feel like I'm playing like a saw trap from the movie Saw. I feel like if I put my hand in here, it's just gonna like take it off. Okay, I've got that one and the third scroll. Oh, got it. Cool. Now, which one do I open first? Do you want to pick? There we go. I'll make, I'll make them all the same height so you don't know which one's which. Okay, leave a comment. Which one do you pick to open? <gasps> if you said the first one, you are correct because last time I think I chose the middle one. There we go. Oh, elastic bands. I'm not having any elastic bands in my office for a while, actually. I sit there and just play with them far too much. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, are you kidding? I got trolled. Look, it put ha. You got trolled by this piece of paper. Sorry, Martin. Right. Well, that's what I think to your letter. Into the oh, that actually went in the bin. <laughs> right. Next. Oh, actually, okay. Let's try again. Okay. Will we get trolled in round two? I'm gonna go for this one because this one is more crumpled than the other one. This one looks like a troll. So let me open this. I'm pretty sure this is a troll. And, oh no, it's fan art. Okay, nice. There we go. Uh, let me open this up. Open it up like a scroll. Ah, oh, there you go. Got the sun and me shooting a skeleton. Actually, no, I'm pretending to be a skeleton. I'm shooting a zombie who's got an ax and it's about to, about to touch my apples. You won't be touching granny's apples. What are you playing at? It's not allowed. It's not allowed at all. Right, let me open this one. This must be the real letter. If this one's just a troll as well, I may I may cry. I'm just I'm warning you all now. My pretty blue eyes may cry if this is a troll. No, it's not. It's an actual letter. Okay. Uh, to in the little wood, also known as Martin. Uh, my name is Ben. Sorry about my spelling and handwriting, but I love your videos and I've been watching them from when you had 200,000 subscribers up to this very day. Oh, I thank you very much. That's been since pretty much since what? Mm, I hit 200,000 subscribers the day I came to Bristol. The day I moved to York Towers was the 1st of September, so you've been watching since September 1st, so thank you very much for sticking with me for what now? Four months? Something like that? That's a, a lot of time. <laughs> um, it would be great if you could subscribe to me. Uh, his name is Labscast Ben is Happy. Or Lobscast Ben is Happy. I know a Lobscast, so that's why like I instantly read it like that. Um, do, 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 do. Um, if you could... Oh, if you can't, then oh well. I'm proud to be a sapling. If nobody likes that, so be it. That's good. Proud to be a sapling. I like when people say that. I like that, like in this day and age, that people are proud to say, yeah, I watch somebody on YouTube. Like, before, I feel like before it was a bit of like a niche thing to do, but YouTube videos are so popular now that it's like an everyday thing. Um, sorry if this letter makes no sense. I'm very sorry if I spelled your name wrong. Uh, no, you spelled it right. You spelled it with a Y. Um, let me know if you got this message. Well, here it is. I got your message and your troll message. <sighs> okay. Uh, what else we got? What happened to the Kingdom of the Saplings? By the time you read this, there will be 10 more videos of it. <laughs> no, there's not. Uh, the reason I stopped Kingdom of the Saplings is because I pretty much completed the Yogbox. So for people that didn't know, the people always ask me to bring Yogbox back, and Yogbox is Kingdom of the Saplings. Um, 
but pretty much I just finished everything in it. Like, I'm not really one for just like repeating the same things and stuff like that, and I'm not really much of a builder. So once there's no more adventures for me to go on, because that's why I like adventure maps so much, or games, because it's very active and very fun. Um, but yeah, as soon as I ran out of mods in the Yug Box to sort of explore and learn, I was sort of like, no, I'll, I'll leave the series there. I went into Tropicraft, and then from Tropicraft we just ended the series there and went on to Tech It, so that was all good. But you're right, Tech It is back, so that's not nothing to worry about. And I already opened this, didn't I? That was the final. I did, yeah. So who was this from again? Did we catch a name? Oh yeah, of course we did. Yeah, it was from Ben. Thank you very much, Ben, for your letter and your bottle at sea. <laughs> Let's open up... Ooh, which one? I'm going to open up this one, because it's tiny. It's a tiny little one. And I will show you the address, but there's a little sapling seal of approval on the back, which is always helpful. Thank you very much. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And open up through here. I'm getting better at this, actually. The more frequently that I do these, the better at opening letters I get, just because like I get into like a rhythm and a motion. And I found, I talked to you last week all uh, about wondering where my little samurai sword cutter had gone, and it turns out it's in the little flat. It's on my top shelf and in the little flat next to my radio award, and it just looks really impressive. It's like, oh yeah, this guy can do radio, and it's also a ninja! And I was like, yeah, so that's cool. It's good. Whoa! Oh, that does look really cool. Look at that! It's a black card with white text on it. That's a novelty. I don't often get those. And there's a really nice piece of fan art, actually. I think it's done with some kind of, like, chalk. It's really strange. Uh, but there you go. There's me with a headband on, the bag, and the shorts. Well, actually, usually I have three quarter lengths on, but they're shorts, but that's fine. But there you go. That's cool. I'm going to pop that over here. Uh, dear Martin, I'd like to start by saying that I absolutely love watching your videos. Um, as I am in my GCSE years at school and I don't tend to get much free time, I have for exams this month all alone. <laughs> oh, sorry, you've got exams at the minute. Yeah, that's bad. Um, but I'm glad that when I do get some free time, I can spend it watching your videos along with the other Yogscast members. Uh, my internet name is Yaks, Yaksri. That's, uh, sorry, Kax, Kaxri? I don't know how to pronounce that. It's C A X. S R Y Kax3 Kax sorry it's Kax3 I don't know I don't know uh, and I can be found on most sites under that name Twitter I am uh, Karis underscore Megan uh, included on Minecraft as well I hope you like the picture I drew as I drew it instead of doing art coursework ah good no that's bad no bad bad no d d stay in school kids <laughs> uh, but no need to worry about that okay I'll I was worried for a second there. I yelled. I'm sorry. I, I'll take it back. I'll take it back. Um, please send me a tweet or something, as well as checking out uh, my DeviantArt page. Uh, Kaxkri, however you pronounce it, 14.deviantart.com to see my other artworks. Keep up the awesomeness. And that's from Kaxkri. Kax, Kax, couldn't be more difficult to say. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good luck with your GCSEs. Anybody sitting them this year as well? Uh, good luck with those. I know some people had a couple of exams uh, before Christmas. They always do them very early in the year. And then you'll probably be entering your final wave of them in the next couple of months. So good luck on those. Don't freak out. There's nothing to freak out about. Worst case scenario you can resit them. A lot of GCSEs allow you to sit them two, maybe three times. And you know what? Even if you don't get the best grades in the world, it doesn't matter. I didn't get crazy grades. I got like, I think I got mostly Bs, which I guess is good, but it wasn't all A's, so it doesn't really matter too much. A lot of the time in jobs nowadays, it's more what you can do than what you can learn, if that makes sense. That sounds bad. Basically like, so for example, like for radio presenting or for like my YouTube stuff, it's not about, oh, did you do media at A level and got this grade? It's like, no, it's how good I actually am at it and stuff, which is cool. Uh, this package comes from New Zealand. Hello. All right, cool. Let me open this up. Oh, my God. It's a screw the never plushie. <laughs> but it's got no eyes. It's terrifying. It's like a converted pillow. Oh, my God. This is, this is pretty... It's creepy, but it's also very cool at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Although, actually, I guess in Screw the Nether they didn't have eyes either, did they? They just had the big white things. They already had pupils in Screw the Nether. But there you go, and that's him from the back as well. He hasn't got a backpack on, but the backpack would probably not be able to stay on, because it's quite difficult to keep those on. Uh, and I think this is the letter in the little world. Let me open this up. Let's have a look. Uh, there we go. This is the last one for today, so let us see who sent the plushie. I'm going to sit him here whilst I read the letter. Oh. Oh, what a legend. He actually had a picture with it. He looked really sad, though. Is it because you're sad you had to part with him? He looked like he was really happy with you. And you've got an Adventure Time poster on your wall. 
Uh, and I don't recognise the other posters actually, but that's really cool. Uh, let me see who this is from. I'm loving this. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, there's another bit of Screw the Never style art with a squareness, which is really, really cool. Lots of lapis everywhere. The best cave in existence. Um, <laughs> it says, hello, mine. I'm Cyrus Keen. That's a cool name. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, What's that? Cy, as in Cy Oh, sorry, yeah, Cyrus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were, you were trying to get me to pronounce Cyrus properly. And you put C-Y, as in Cy, which is P-S-Y, you know, Gangnam style. Uh, so it says, uh, I'm Cyrus Keen, uh, and Keen sounds like Keen. Of course it does. Um, <laughs> I'm turning 11 on January the 26th. What day is it today? Oh, it's your birthday today! I mean, I'm recording this yesterday, but right now as I record this, it's the 26th! Happy birthday! That's awesome! So I actually opened this on your birthday. I hope you're having a really good day, or had a good day, because it's tomorrow now. Um, and I live in Erist... Erist Church? Or is that Christ Church? I think that's Erist Church. Strange. Uh, the one that had the earthquakes in New Zealand. Oh my god, okay. Um, you're one of my first YouTubers that I've watched, and still one of my favourites. Oh, thank you. Uh, I watch all of your content you post. I thought that you'd do a lot for the, for the community, so I should do something for you. I made this In The Little Wood, um... Oh no, you called it In, in The Little Little. <laughs> That's it! You called it In The Little Little, I like that. Um... Uh, on a sewing machine. Oh wow, so you actually did this yourself. That's awesome. I think I only learned how to sew once with a machine, and then I never bothered again. My grandma was well into it. Um... So I made in the little little on a sewing machine, and my mum helped for the shirt and the hair because uh, I did everything else. I hope you'll be very happy with this gift, but it won't be nearly as much as you make me happy. Oh, Cyrus! And that's from Cyrus Keen. Well, thank you, Cyrus. I really do enjoy the plushie, and I've got the picture to go with it as well. I'll always, I might put that inside of him. Yeah, if I put it up the back of his shirt and down the back of his pants... At least then the picture will always stay with him. There we go. Because then I can always remember who sent it to me. So there we go. I've got an In The Little Little. Oh! <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you ever want to send anything to this P.O. Box, uh, I open everything, even if it's not on video. Uh, the address is linked below. It's the Yogscast P.O. Box. And remember to pop a little sapling logo, or at least my name, on the package when you send it, or the letter, or the envelope when you send it, to make sure it gets through to me. And uh, as always, I thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all in a little bit.